the Vatten Fiddle, um, which is basically Castle Rock's brewery slash what they class as their tap room. Not a conventional tap room in the tap room sense, but certainly a, a pub that has a good amount of uh, beers in there. It's based near Nottingham train station and the area, is it classed as the Meadows? I think it probably is, but it's right on the fringe of the Meadows. It's about, I would say, um, and I know this because Craig Kent Beaverview was trying to get him to turn around that day. About 100 yards from the train station. And the funny thing is I'm sat there waiting for him the other day when he came up to Nottingham. And uh, I'm just stood there waiting, telling him to turn around. And uh, um, one of the bosses from um, Castle Rock actually walked past me and said hello, which is uh, quite nice. Quite nice they recognise me, actually. So the Vat and Fiddle pub. Um, you walk in, it's got a bar that, that kind of wraps around. Um, you've got an outdoor garden area, big outdoor garden area. The back's on and looks over the actual Castle Rock Brewery, um, the, the, you know, the actual brewery. So it's an interesting place, especially when you go out the back, to, to have a beer. The pub is uh, clean throughout. Quite a lot of beers on the pump. Um, I think I had five different Castle Rock beers there as well, and some that you can't get at other Castle Rock pubs. Um, place itself, you know, I won't say it's modern, but it's uh, it's nice enough, easy going place. Uh, when we went, nice. No, there was no bouncers on the outdoors, so that's always a good sign because wherever you have a pub that needs bouncers. There's always a risk. You, you know what you're walking into. You're like, oh, no, I'm not walking into this. You can buy half pints. Um, and for me, the the because it's near the train station, it's very accessible. Obviously, Castle Rock have got other pubs nearby, uh, the canal side. Fox and Grapes at Stanton Market. There'll be a separate review of that. And, you know, just going around all the, all the pubs I've been in recently, uh, you know, after COVID's... Um, eased up on things and uh yeah some good beers in there brian clough pills now sherwood um preservation that i have um oh man that was another one but yeah good selection of beers uh the staff are really nice um like i say for the big pull for me is the range of beers in there but also the fact that you've got the um the brewery in the background it's great to sit in that garden looking over the brewery seeing what's about especially if you go to certain times of day when the brewery is open i went on a saturday evening so obviously the brewery wasn't open then um so for me would i visit again yes i will visit again you know it's a pub i need to go back to at some stage probably catch up on a few beers that i've missed um at five for me, I've got 4.5 out of five. Yeah, it's definitely one to put on your tick list of Nottingham pubs to visit. Nottingham pubs for craft beer and beer fans. Not so much, not so much those who want to get steaming. You know, it's it's an, it's an experience pub rather than, you know, the other type of pub. And that is it for this uh, pub review. Um, yeah, yeah, decent offering. And that's it, everyone. Cheers. See you soon. Bye.